Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the Beardless Weasel Show. Um, you know, it's it's it stubbles are coming in. I'm basically in the sandpaper stage as of right now. Um, so what has happened since the last video? Um, Lauren's mother and sister and her boyfriend are here. The sister's boyfriend, not Lauren's boyfriend. He's not here. I finished the screen porch door, so Wheatley can now be in the screen porch. It's the only thing that's painted. Uh, primed and painted and sanded and whatnot but yeah looks nice uh, that's in here the rest well not so much Wheatley got all of these toys hanging but he hates them like hate hate like he doesn't want to be near them it seems I don't I don't know what his deal is we also worked on the front side of the house or better Lauren and her mom worked on the front side of the house uh, adding mulch and plants and what are they called azaleas uh, these are mountain laurels and those over there are azaleas one of them is pink that's that's all that matters we're gonna uh, dig those bricks in as a kind of like a uh, little uh, divider and then I will be filling this with well stones and also I'm gonna do that with the driveway down there because the water runs down there so I dug a trench and yeah eventually I'll get to the fire pit but definitely not today good times we have to end it with good times huh good times they're only good times best probably, times I probably look terrible you look gorgeous thank you it's never too early or too late for Christmas lights. I kind of wanted to relax on the screen porch and the light here was a little bit too bright. I have these things that I had hanging in my room and I decided to just you know put them up and I have one string that is white light. And on camera it's flickering like crazy. Updating the people. I thought you said dating the people. No, I don't want to date the people, I just want to update the people. So, oh no, did someone shred something? Oh no, what was shredded? Is that a toilet paper roll? Mirrors. Is that a toilet paper roll, Mirrors? Aww, is that a toilet so paper roll? What is this? Mar? What's, what, what, what's this? This looks like you. You like, you like to shred those things. That is really your favorite thing to do in the world. Time for some updates. But it is so bright. Oh God, it's way too bright. See, there's a hole. This is where the previous lamp was. You can see some of that horrible uh, cellulose blown in insulation that's kind of hanging out and about to fall down. So that needs to be speckled up, uh, closed off. But yeah, install two recessed lights. And how to screw with your camera's white balance. So these are installed, so that's nice. We also finally got a vent cover in. This is the return, and here we're gonna have the register. I had to bang this open a little bit and then basically speckle the drywall uh, so the vent would fit. Lauren is working on the bathroom, and this is going to be the color we're gonna have on the walls, and she's currently working on the closet. That's why we got a bolt cutter, so we can put the wire shelves in. We also got a window fan. I mean, not this one, another one I'll show you in a bit. And yeah, we have to repair the walls here, so Lauren is sending those as well. And putting, you know, joint compound down to close it off. Works well. And we have a microwave. It's not working yet because it needs to be wired up. But uh, I spent a day and shortened these shelves up here. So now we have a super short, tiny shelf. And in there, is gonna be the box for the microwave. So these are shortened, nobody knows the difference, and then I put the microwave on top. All right. That just needs to be hooked up, but yeah, it looks great, and I'm really looking forward to using it and not the floor microwave anymore. Filthy, filthy floor microwave. Nobody loves you, just kidding. You've been, you've been, you've been very, very good to us. You've fed us many, many nights, and I will put you in the workshop to heat my coffee, which is overkill. Don't judge me. Stop judging. You're judging. I know you're judging. There's already so much stuff on the roof again. I might have to clean that off in the not too distant future. All these sticks that fell onto the roof. Uh, I put some gutter guards up here so it doesn't fall into the gutter. At least that's something. And hey Wheatley, how's it going? And Wheatley's hanging out on the screen porch. I think he accepts his fate that he now has to be in there. How's it going? You wanna bite me? Yes, you do, but you, you can't. Oh, you're so angry. You're so angry, you wanna bite me, but you can't. That must be frustrating. The gutter, which by the way, seems a little bit too long for just this one downspout. This downspout goes here into this uh, little uh, trench I dug, and then over here, which I will have to extend down into the woods. Yay, woods! 
Look at all these vines. These are just this, this is all overgrown with vines. All of these bushes in the front you see vines. So yeah, I'll fill this with pond pebbles too. Uh, our AC unit's still running. We got a new coil recently. I forgot to mention that. Super interesting. And hey, puppers. How how's Popple? <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Get get your feet off there. Get get your feet off the trim there. Get get your feet off. You're you're the worst. Oh yeah, this thing is still running. Way too old. We'll need a new one next year, but it's still still does its thing after 27 years or however old it is. Ooh, pretty moth chilling out during the day. And another representative of the species over there. Never seen a green or turquoise one like this before. Very interesting. Oh, oh and I installed uh, the cable, uh, not the cable, the internet over here. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, wood saw stuff left here, so I'm gonna have to wipe that off. But yeah, this is basically um, two cables that come from this box. I don't even know what this is. I think this is just supplying with more electricity, but it's not being really used. I think this was for extensions. But yeah, just drilled a hole into the wall and on the other side we have the modem and the router now and they're doing their thing. But yeah, this is this is what high speed internet looks like. Dirty high speed internet, but high speed internet. We have so many burbos on those feeders, it's awesome. Woodpeckers, tough to tit mice, all 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 the all the birds. And they're fairly docile, but they really like that feeder, and I need more feeders. Way more feeders. Way more feeders. Yeah, don't mind me, buddy. You just you just keep eating. Just, just keep eating. We installed this shed, or not installed the shed, we moved the shed over here into this corner um, and in it are garden tools and a mower and whatnot, but mowing is a thing I'm probably not gonna do anytime soon. Since my hands are not, you know, in the best shape, I decided today I'm not going to work on the fire pit again. I mean, it is a fire pit, it, you know, works fine just for that. Uh, today I'll be adding those wooden strips underneath the granite top where there's a space in between because they had to shim it quite a bit because these are original old wooden cabinets. So uh, let me show you what that actually looks like right now. So yeah, from here it looks fairly normal, nothing wrong with this other than all the clutter there. But if you look underneath of it, there is plenty of shimming that was done, uh, which is fine. So that thing is completely level, but it also means that it's just resting on a few shims, which will probably be fine for years to come, but I'd much rather have an actual piece of wood that's in here, um, that just, you know, fits in there. So I'm gonna be cutting several pieces and I'll be sliding those in um, to make them rest on that and take out the shims, or at least leave the shims in, but that it will be additional support. Oh God, this thing has to go, definitely. Okay, so the first piece of wood is in, as you can see, it's over here. Uh, it will have to be definitely stained. Um, to match the color of the wood underneath. Uh, I didn't want to put like old wood with the same stain on there because eventually we're gonna be sanding in the, you know, re-staining this basically. Right YouTube, hit a little bit of a snag or uh, you know, something that kind of holds me back as I um, try to wedge wood in there. Um, so this is the cut that I want to make, as you can see. Um, it's a little bit oddly shaped and I would need a bandsaw for this or a, well, I need a bandsaw for this, pretty much, if I want to do that cut, using a reciprocating saw. Uh, an orbital jigsaw would be really goddamn annoying to cut with, and yeah, I guess a bandsaw is not a bad idea, so I can put that in this corner here, um, and also a bench sander to make the wood shorter, because planing short pieces of wood is uh, borderline impossible, that way I could fill this up nicely in the individual thicknesses that I need it in. But I'm too lazy to do that today. Wheatley, you miserable hell beast. Get the fuck off there, come here. There you go. Hey Lauren, you wanna tell the people what you've been working on? A closet! Yay! Did you ever get footage of this before it was redone? I it mean... It was ugly. I don't know if I did actually got footage of this. It was just bare plaster and lousy wooden shelves from probably the 50s. Well. So this is my project. Cool, this is where we're gonna stack the bodies, uh, bath supplies. This is an awful place to hide bodies, unless it's a live body that can stand in there. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it definitely works. <laughs> Try, you can, you can close the door now. 
Well, I know I'm all over the place with this video, so I might as well keep going. Today, I will try to take this thing out, the door sill, I think that's what it's called, um, where the old door used to be. And, uh, hi Mars. Basically, I'm just gonna take this out and replace it with a cut piece of granite, which we got when we got the kitchen counter cut. So, um, that's gonna look pretty neat once I get it done. My plan is just to basically uh, see how loose it is and then sawzle it out. Let's see how that goes. All right, we got our cut. Let's see how that went. Ha ha, there you go. Most of the door sill is gone. So now I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna see if this will remotely fit. I have my doubts because ah, there's still uh, under here wood and I think uh, this is cut a little bit bigger so I might have to do some creative cutting. Ah, good times. And here it is finished. Ignore the horrible, horrible tile uh, vinyl. Uh, we're gonna get tile soon. Oh, it's gonna be great. Uh, anyways, uh, I put this in and after doing a lot of cutting, I'll show you. I was able to manage to put it in. So the gap was a little bit more than two inches. So what I did, I put a, uh, what is that? Half an inch board down here and then basically jammed this thing with a rubber mallet into place. I had to cut this all uh, in a straight line. It's not perfect, obviously. We're gonna do some caulking, something. We're gonna fix it up, um, but that's cosmetic. And down here, I'm going to have to get a board, actually two boards probably in terms of thickness. Um, one to nail here and then one to put further up ahead to make it flush with um, the trim. Probably gonna paint the board just white uh, or something along those lines. But to do that, I'm gonna need a table saw. Uh, I'm gonna cave. I'm gonna get a table saw because there's been plenty of opportunities now or situations where I needed to cut wood into certain sizes and I can't really do it properly with a circular saw because when, when it gets too thin um, or narrow, Pretty impossible. What, what, what are you looking at, birds? There's no food in there. There's water, yes. Hey, learn. Yeah. What do we do today? Some stuff in the dirt. Oh, stuff in the dirt, awesome. What kind of stuff in the dirt? Not sexy stuff. Aww. We, uh, got, a, we got a mustache. Agastache, I think Agastache. it's called. I tried to plant it there, but apparently there's a stump in there. Yep, good times. I mean, we planted this one, but yeah, we can't plant any more right now. Can't plant so I think we're gonna have to get some pavers and do like a two-part yeah. thing here, like one here, one here. I also bought a table saw, but I haven't gotten to that part in the video yet, so I'm gonna talk about that probably next one. But we did this thing, we finished up We finished up the garden bed in the front of the house, yay! All of these are decorative pond stones, they help us drain the water because the water comes down from the hill, like from, from over there where the plant is and then it runs down and then also, also there's the gutter and that's all gonna run down here, which it did before, but now, you know, the ground doesn't erode away and it keeps going there, which I also still wanna fill with stones, but I don't have enough stones. So that's a good time. Have you ever showed them my wind chime? Oh, I'm pretty sure they've seen the wind chime. That is uh, very pleasant. Hanging from a Japanese maple. That is actually, I just realized that. Adorable, isn't it? That is kind of adorable. Hey, last YouTube. I have not been vlogging for last few days because Ha, well, it's called Lazy Weasel, what you expect. Yeah, we made a lamp, that's, that's the thing we made. I, I, I made the box, and Lauren got the cables and the lamps and made these glasses, and uh, we hooked it up to where that ugly other lamp was. And we're gonna get a dimmer switch, because right now, it is a little bright. Yes. It is a little bright. Which is nice that it can be bright if we wanted to. New day, new stuff. Well, guess what we did yesterday. Haha, we have light. I mean, right now, just here, the recessed light in the shower, which is really neat. But also up here, just, you know, it's currently missing a lamp. We gotta have to insert a lamp. But also, we have finally a little fan. And I hate running around in attics. It's, it's the worst. It's so, so awful. Other than that, things have changed a little bit, tiny little bit in the workshop. I did add a new light. I'm gonna have to put these things here, these boxes up there, because that's that, that's not proper, let's just say that. Um, anyways, and over here, another one. My pegboard wall is now completed. Yes, I don't even know if I showed you that remotely. Um, just took me like two days. I had to get some extra boards because I was running out of space over in that corner, but this looks way nicer than having just a dirt wall in the back. 
And I added his little mirror. Yay. Mirrors Wheatley. Hey Wheatley. Still hasn't built a stand for this, but it does its job just fine the way it is right now, so... And I did get this beauty. Did I mention that? God, I don't remember. That's the problem when you move vlogs over the course of several days. You don't necessarily remember if you mentioned something, but I guess I might have. Maybe not. Anyways, I got myself a table saw and I want to build another table right over there after I unpack these boxes, which will probably be my project for today. And uh, yeah, that'll be great because it's, it's a little tight up here. But I have outlets now everywhere. Just need to hook them up to the panel, which I haven't done yet, but outlets, outlets everywhere. And the 240 volt space heater. That, that, that's just what it is. Like, I wasn't sure what it was, but it has its own circuit, so maybe I'll steal it in the future for something else after I change the breaker into a 110 volt. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Lauren. Hi. How is it going? Eh. Eh. Very good. It is good sound. Means progress being made, but awful. Well, quick update for you beautiful people on the vlog front after a few days because I've been awful at carrying this thing around. I actually just found the camera again. This is currently being worked at after Jess helped us uh, sand the walls. Jess also moved nearby. And uh, currently we can't go into the kitchen. Yeah, God, look at all of this mess. Uh, we can't go into the kitchen because floor tiles are drying. We can step on them tomorrow. Would you look at that? Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. Even with the closet and whatnot. I'm so excited to walk on that. Well, YouTube, this is how one thing leads to another uh, in this bathroom. Excuse the weird lines because these shitty lights are on. Um, I just decided, you know, I'm going to check out, you know, the sink here, how it's attached. So if I want to, I can, you know, know how to take it off. And then it's like, whoop, came off a big fat iron, <laughs> cast iron sink with the weight of a thousand bores. No, uh, it, it was, it was quite heavy. Sorry for having a finger on there. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just going to wipe off the dirt, you know, that's there and on the floor real quick. And, you know, I already knew that they were kind of loose here those tiles because of the water damage uh, so I decided you know let's uh, let's just take the ones out that come off easily and those were quite a few which is good because the floor here is a little wet from the dripping still so this can now finally dry off but yeah <laughs> this is how one thing leads to another oh no what happened Hey, lost YouTube. Uh, what happened is that apparently there was a water damage up there and they, I don't know what they did to fix uh, the rotting uh, boards, cement boards slash drywall boards. Uh, we just pulled it down and now we're gonna install a new thing. And it's, it's bedroom 2.0, all the yeah, ceiling paint just peeling. Yep, and also we have uh, now an insulated floor. It's important to insulate your floor with uh, Blown in cellulose and fiber. God, I'm so filthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got this. And for whatever reason, painting over spackle uh, made a bubble and it all peeled off. So now we gotta redo this too. Pro tip just keep. Oh, God. <laughs> oh god, no, I'm, oh no, I'm a mess. You know what's not a mess? This floor. This beautiful floor. And my hobbit feet. <gasps> wow. Wow, floor. He has to avoid I stepping. I slept. No, you haven't. We can show them all the stuff you accomplished while you weren't sleeping. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, after many hours of sleep. It's now like midnight. Man, my sleep cycle is really fucked now. I installed this thing. Yay, it's a sink. Hot and warm and everything and pretty much one of the cheapest things you could get. But it's a sink for this really <laughs> horrendous bathroom, which we will probably at one point completely remodel. But anyways, the other thing I did. Yay, I finally have a working faucet. 
in the workshop, which is really handy if you're doing things that, you know, make your hands grimy and then, you know, you don't have to get up. This is working. Yay! Well, and that's it for this weeks and a half, two week vlog. I don't know, they, they have no consistency to them. I do need a shave. I lost my razor, my electric razor. It's somewhere in this mess here. Uh, and I'll gonna have to find it. Um, anyways, maybe, who knows, the bathroom will be somewhat finished in the next one, or we're gonna have to fire pit, or any of the one million other things that need to be done. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.